Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to study about the discovery of bacteria. So let's begin the topic. Bacteria, as we know, are very small and they were not been seen by our naked eyes. You require a microscope to see them. So Antony van Leeuwenhoek was the first one to observe the bacteria by compound microscope that was made by him. The story of Antony van Leeuwenhoek is very interesting. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was not very good in studies, so uh, he was not preferring to go to school. His father had the business of glass making and lens making, so he was been put into work to make the glass sharp by rubbing the glass paper over it and make it sharp and sharp. That type of job was given to him in his father's glass factory. So he was doing that th job and very nicely and one day it he bound to observe some of the tiny moving objects through those glasses. Then he started analyzing and studying and observing various other mediums, soil, water, mud water, pond water, various other objects he observed and he drew whatever he observed and whatever he observed was bacteria and algae and microorganisms in different types of uh, things so that way this um, Antony van Leeuwenhoek was the person who first saw this bacteria and algae and unicellular organisms in the microscope Second is Louis Pasteur. He was the first to prepare vaccine for the rabies. Let us see next slide. Robert Koch from Germany had proved that anthrax disease was caused by bacteria. He also proved that tuberculosis and cholera were caused by bacteria. Emil Rox and Emil Behring proved, that, uh, proved and discovered diphtheria antitoxin. So these are the few great discoveries of the uh, microbial world. Let us see next. Koch postulates. These are very important to understand. So during epidemic of anthrax in animal in Poland, Koch found the following rules. The first rule, the organism must be present in every case of disease. Means that if there is a disease in an organism, then there has to be a causative organism behind that disease. The second po postulate was it must be possible to make pure culture of that organism. So whatever the disease an animal is having from that if you take the diseased organism you should be able to cultivate it in a pure culture. Then if that animal is again inoculated by that pure culture of uh, disease causing organism, then that animal must develop that disease. And after that animal has developed that disease, again the same organism should be recovered from the diseased uh, animal. And it should be able to grow in a pure culture. So this is the Cox postulate which are very important findings. And it is on the basis of this that the entire microbiology world uh, experiments and uh, researches were done. So this is the this is how the bacteria were discovered, and this is how their theory related to bacteria were discovered. Subscribe my channel for more such educational videos. Like and share it with your friends. And I hope this will help you to make your concepts clear. Thank you for watching.